Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna to show you how to remove a stuck bit out of an impact driver. I had this impact driver for about a year, but I've only been able to use it a few times because I had a bit that was stuck in here and I didn't take the time to figure out how to get it out. I was gonna take the whole drill apart, but I thought we'd try a couple other things and one of them actually worked. So I wanna show you guys how I did that. But before I do, will you please go click that subscribe button? 83% of you don't. Now we're gonna simulate. I actually uh, threw that bit, the bit that was stuck in here, I threw it away. So usually what happens is on an impact driver, you have a spring-loaded collet, chuck, whatever you wanna call this thing. And the bit has like a slide-in spot where there's a little cut in, in it. And there's a little ball bearing inside of this chuck, right? And when you put, it's spring-loaded, so when you pull out on it, it releases the ball bearing. You put your chuck in, you release that, and now it's locked in. Well, I had a special bit. It was like a screw remover type bit. It was probably lesser quality from a foreign country, we'll say. And this distance wasn't quite right. The distance where the ball bearing sits inside the chuck and where it rests on this indentation on your drill bit and it got stuck. And I tried pulling on this and using pliers and I, you know, it's getting really frustrated, but this is how I fixed it. First thing you gotta do is you have to be able to get this chuck to sit out like this so it can release that ball bearing. So the way I did it was I just took a zip tie, like a sole, and I opened this up and I just tightened up my zip tie until it left this open like that. Now the chuck's open. Okay, so if this was stuck, I wouldn't be able to get it out. So we'll just pretend that it's stuck. All right, so you also need to get yourself a pry bar and hopefully you have a vise. So for this method to work, you gotta have a vise and a pry bar handy to be able to get this out. So we're gonna walk over to the vise now. I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so I'm over at my vise and I have my stuck bit in here. So I put about a quarter inch reveal in there like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up my vise. And you gotta make it pretty tight. And that's what I did. And then I took my pry bar and I just created some leverage on the vise like so, and I just pried on it like that, and it came right out. So you might have to try a couple different times, you might have to do it from a couple different sides, but actually for me, it worked really well and I just ripped on this pretty hard and it, then it popped out and then I had my drill back, all right? So it's not a complicated technique. I hope that helps somebody out there because uh, it's always cool to be able to get your tools back and be able to use them again without having to rip them apart. Usually when you tear a tool apart, it's really hard to get them back together exactly the way you had them before. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out content. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and, and now I have a whip on my drill. What do you think of that? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.